So this thing right here is what I'm gonna use to light my grill. It's what I uh, light my coals with. I use it every time I cook, almost. This funny looking contraption right here is called a charcoal chimney. Now we're gonna fill the inside with charcoal and then I'll show you what I do next. I got some used charcoal in here. I'm just gonna put some fresh charcoal on top. All we're doing is a package of links here. We are gonna smoke them, but we're gonna smoke them hot and fast. So I don't need a full chimney full of coals. It's almost full, but we are gonna smoke them nice and hot. Let me show you what I use to light the coals. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the best things on the market for getting your coals lit. It's uh, Weber lighter cubes. You can find both of these things in Lowe's, Home Depot, and stuff like that. Don't substitute on this, though. You're going to see a couple of other brands. Get the Weber brand. They have a very informative label on there that tells you why theirs is better than the rest. And you can believe everything on that label. But this chimney and these little white cubes here are all I use to light my grill. I'll take one of these little cubes. You're gonna put it right there in the middle of the grill, uh, the charcoal grate. Make sure you can see me there. Just light it. And then put your charcoal chimney right on top of it. This, by the way, is the safest place to do this, right inside of your grill on the charcoal grate. Every grill has a grill grate where you put your food and a charcoal grate where you put your charcoal. So we just put this right on top. And then we wait. Now right away, check this out. You're gonna start seeing a whole lot of smoke right away. And it's gonna continue to do that for a few minutes. After a few minutes, I'd say about 15 minutes or so at the most, it's going to suddenly stop smoking and then you'll see flames reaching out of the top of here. All right, we're back, baby. Look what's happening. No more smoke. We got flames. Now, let me tell you what's going on, because like I said, if you're somebody that's new to grilling and you you go in and you read, and how do you and you're reading? How do I know when my charcoals are ready, when my coals are ready? Everything you read is going to tell you to wait until all of the coals are white hot. And that is good advice, except when you're using a charcoal chimney. If you wait until the coals at the top are white, then half of your charcoal at the bottom will be spent. If you look, let me carefully raise this up for you. If you look at the bottom, all of that amber color that you see in, those are white hot coals. So these coals are ready to dump. And when we dump them, these coals that are at the top will be on the bottom of all these white hot coals and we ain't gonna have no problem. I said ain't. We ain't gonna have no problem getting the heat we want and then some. Because those coals that are on the top will light instantly. Pretty much instantly. So we're gonna very carefully just dump these coals all over the one side of the grill. Like I'm always telling you guys. Use a two bone two-zone system, two-zone setup for your coals. You want your heat on one side and your fire, your fire on the other side. I'm just gonna push these over a little bit more. I'm not gonna worry with the bricks and stuff. I normally do that when I'm doing low and slow. I'm just gonna push them over like that and then we're gonna put our grill grate on. You gotta be very careful doing this stuff, guys. Um, I recommend if you're new, I recommend buying some heat resistant gloves. You'll find those in the same area that you find all the other grilling stuff at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot and all of that. But they are, they insulate your, your arms, your hands against the heat. You don't see me using it, but it's not because I'm macho and I'm so experienced and all of that kind of stuff. I just can't find my... <laughs> I just can't find my gloves. I keep buying them and I keep losing them. 
All right, so look what's going on here. We rocking. While I got all this heat going on, I'm just going to clean this part, make sure it's okay to put my food on. I'm gonna scrape it a little bit, and then I'm gonna close the grill and let it get really hot. And I'm gonna put my sweet Italian rocks right over here. Drop a little wood chips over there. But I need to get this grill closed because the longer it's open, the more these things, these flames are gonna flare up. Scrape it down, get all the food particles and stuff off of here. And then we're gonna close this lid for a few minutes and let it get really, really hot. This is not gonna take but a couple of minutes. By the time I go in here and get these brats, we'll be ready. All right, let's take the lid off, see where we're at. Now you can see the coals aren't flaming anymore. That's what we want. We don't want them on fire. So look, this is all of the wood I'm adding. It's just two pieces of apple wood. We are smoking these. But a more accurate description of what we're doing is grilling them and adding some smoke flavor. We're using smoke like a season, like salt, pepper, or whatever. Uh, you don't want to taste only smoke. These are sweet Italian brats, and I want to taste. I want to taste that. I want to taste that sweet. I want to taste that Italian flavor. But I do want a hint of smoke, and apple wood is what we're using. So over here. You're gonna see my smoke starting to come out of the top vent in, in a few minutes. Um, we're not gonna wait on that though. We're just gonna go ahead and get them on. Just gonna put them right over here like that. Over the top of the food is where you want your vents to be. That way, It'll draw, the air, the current in there will draw the smoke over to this side, over the food, and then out of the vents. If I put my vent over there, then my smoke will just rise right out of the top of the grill, and my food won't get much smoke. So that's it. That's it. That is it. That is it. I'm just going to leave them in there for about 30 minutes before I even check them on, on them again. But now you know how easy it is to get your coals lit and get your grill set up. All right, so now let me show you down here. Even as I've been talking to you, I don't know if you can, I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it, but now my smoke, my wood smoke is coming out of this vent and that lets me know that it's coming right over the top of the food and we're gonna get this smoke. It's been about 25 minutes, guys. I went inside, grabbed me a shower, got changed. See the two zones, cooking system cooking setup allows you to do that you don't have to babysit your food because your food is not going to flare up if it's not over the fire i don't care how greasy it is y'all know i'm smoking right y'all know i'm smoking i got apple wood on here right on top of the coals but look can you see the smoke can you even see it it's very thin so we have a nice they call this thin blue smoke, and that's what we got going on here. It's it's a really nice, pleasant undertone of smoke flavor that lets all the other flavors of the food you're cooking shine through. So let's take a look. It's been about a half an hour. Let the smoke clear. Come on, man. I said, come on! <laughs> These bad boys is ready. Look at that. It's ready. Now I'm gonna tell you something else about this two zone system. If I wanted to, let's say, oh, okay, that's cool run, but I like mine burnt. I like some char on there. I want these, these ain't even splitting open yet. If I wanted to, I just take me some tongs, close that over there. And then I would simply move my links right over the coals just like that you have so much control when you use a two zone system so i can let these stay here for a minute or so 
don't know if you can hear them, but they already sizzling. I can let them for I can let them stay there for a minute. Let them pop. Let them sizzle. Let it get. Let it get them black. Flip them over. Just like that. I can move this. Move these things back and forth over the grill as I see fit. Don't let the fire scare you, black people. And then I can move them back over here. Just like that. Anytime you get fire coming up like that, you put the lid on, at least with this Weber grill. And the fire goes right out. So you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be nervous. It is really easy uh, to cook on this thing. So I'm going to put the lid on here because they're they really ready. I'm going to put the lid on here. We ain't really trying to do nothing fancy tonight, y'all. If I was trying to get fancy, I put some veggies on here. I put some, man, I put some onion and bell pepper and all that. <laughs> put that on here. I, I get some fancy buns. You know, not the regular stuff, but the fancy. But it's a weeknight, you know. I got home uh, a little bit before my wife. And when I get home before her... I try to make sure that she has something to eat. I don't want my wife coming home from work cooking. Uh, and sometimes it's fancy, but sometimes it's like this, you know, very easy. We're just gonna put this on a slice of bread <laughs> with some mustard, that's it. Kool-Aid, not Kool-Aid, but you, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. I'm gonna take these inside and let them rest a little bit. And uh, this cook is done.